What is the picture that comes to your mind when you hear the word genius? What are the qualities that make them different? Are they only bookworms? Well, a genius is a person with exceptional intellectual or creative power. They have an IQ level above 140. People like Isaac Newton, Leonardo da Vinci, Marilyn Vossavant, and Albert Einstein are some examples of people with a high IQ. Let's learn more about Albert Einstein whose groundbreaking research took the world by storm more than a hundred years ago, making his name synonymous with genius. Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in the German city of Ulm. His mother knew that there was something unusual about him. Until the age of two and a half, he did not talk. And when he did talk, he repeated everything twice. By what age do children usually start speaking? Yes, most kids start speaking well when they're one year old. Now, as a toddler, Einstein loved playing by himself more than with other kids, especially with mechanical toys. He was often called as Brother Boring by kids of his age. Calling someone with such funny and insulting names is bullying and bullying in any form must not be encouraged. Albert's headmaster at school also thought that he was good for nothing. Whereas his mother encouraged him to learn how to play the violin at the early age of six. He indeed became good at it and played it till his death. He was not a bad student. He fared quite well in school when he studied in Munich. However, the strict rules of the school made him a rebellious student. What do you think? Must schools be liberal or strict in implementing rules and regulations? Well, Albert dropped out of the school in Munich and shifted to Switzerland, where studies were more liberal. Einstein was exceptionally gifted in mathematics and physics and decided to join a university in Zurich after finishing school. At college, Albert met Mileva Merik, a Serbian student, who was three years older to him and was an equally clever creature. Soon, they fell in love, but his mother was against their marriage. Finally, they got married in 1903 and had two sons. Let's find out what happened next. In the previous animation, we saw that Einstein was a married man. Let's proceed further. However, things were not as easy as pie for them. While he was busy in his research on theory of relativity and his work at the patent office, his family life began to suffer. Mileva was unhappy as a housewife and their marriage ended in a divorce in 1919. He later married his cousin Elsa the same year. Nevertheless, this personal chapter coincided with his rise to fame. In 1915, his general theory of relativity provided a newer perspective on gravity and in 1919, a solar eclipse proved his theory correct. Do you know Einstein's famous equation? Yes, it is E is equal to mc square where E stands for energy of a particle, m stands for its mass and c stands for speed of light. This discovery won him the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. It is noteworthy that his contribution to the world was not just limited to science. In 1933, when the Nazis came to power, he immigrated to the US, fleeing from fascism like other Germans. Do you remember the dictator who tried to establish fascism in Germany? Yes, it was Hitler. With the discovery of nuclear fission, the Americans were afraid of the Nazis building and using atom bombs. Einstein was concerned about the unimaginable destructive capacity of a nuclear bomb. He had even addressed this fear in his letter to President Roosevelt. His intuition was proved right when America dropped bombs on two Japanese cities. Which were they? Indeed, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This shook almost everyone, including Einstein. 
He wrote a public missive to the UN asking them to form a world government to stop the use of such destructive means. He remained an advocate of world peace and democracy until his death. His death in 1955 brought an end to the era of scientific genius and visionary leadership. How has Albert's life inspired you? Do you think famous people must use their fame to propagate and instill ethical values in people? Remember, fame is achieved with hard and sincere efforts. But with fame comes responsibility. People look up to famous people as their role models and therefore it becomes their duty to be an example for other people, which Einstein did at his best. He was not only a scientific genius but also an equally devoted humanitarian who always wished for a happy, healthy and harmonious society. That is why we can call Einstein a truly beautiful mind.